Hey guys, welcome to Working Joe's blog. This is the first one I've done live in a video format, which I'm, I'm really used to as being on YouTube for so long. And we have our Google Hangouts every week, which is what this is. It's just not going to be 10 guys. It's going to be me talking to you for a few minutes this morning. And I figure I might start doing that. It's a little bit easier to do that than do these long-winded writing blogs, which take a whole lot of time. And I can talk to you in less time than that. But I guess the big news is that Donald Trump has won. And what is that going to mean for HVAC guys all around the world, all around our nation? Because it's going to have a rippling effect across the world. You know, Donald Trump referred to Carrier during his speeches. Is he going to make it more difficult for people to leave the country or make it more enticing to stay in the country? I don't know. How's it going to affect, you know, union jobs? Will there be more manufacturing in the South? And right now, it's just uh, this going to be the first day. He's not going to be president, obviously, until you know mid-January. And it's just interesting to think of what's going to happen here in the future with healthcare, which is one of the concerns that I have because my healthcare premium went up probably. I think it was double what it was before. It was just an insane amount. It just doubled in cost. I think it literally was a few dollars away from being double what it was before. So I'm going to have to actually bring up, I'm bringing up my comments on the phone as well. So if you guys want to comment on anything, I can see it. And I am broadcasting on the Working Joe's Roundtable website, which is going to be a little slow going here because this is the first time I've done this. And probably a lot of people don't know that I'm doing it as I started a few minutes ago with the notifications. But I know a lot of people have an opinion on Donald Trump, whether it be he is, you know, sent to rescue us or he will, you know, explode our country in a fiery ball of damnation. I'm not quite sure. I'm pulling up my video here to make sure it's working. Yeah, looks like it is working. That's good. I might need to move my webcam down so I can look at both of them at the same time. But you may ask me who did I vote for. I have no problem telling you that I voted for Trump. And I don't even consider it like I was fired up voting for Trump. It was just I, I didn't want to have Clinton in the White House. And I'm not going to sit here and we don't have to have a political debate. This is more about the ramifications of whoever was chosen. But I think in general it will be better for business as Republicans in general are better for business. Maybe we can do something about the health care. People call it a debacle. But it really is a disaster where our health care is going up exponentially. And it seems like the people that are putting Americans to work are being strangled in this sort of redistribution of wealth sort of atmosphere where we have to take everything from the most successful and even it out so we all have a chance at success. And I know the spirit is good, and they're trying to make sure we don't have people too many people on the low end. But I think – I, I don't, really don't think that's how it works. I think it's more of, you know, get out there and make things happen. You know, my wife has been sick for a long time, but, you know, I started this website as a way to work from home and make things happen. I don't want to get money from the government. I don't want to get a giant cheese wheel. I don't want any of that stuff. I just want to be able to produce on my own and I'll do it whatever way I can, which I think a lot of our guys would agree with that. We're all blue collar guys, whether you own a company or you're just working for a company. A lot of times we started out working for a company. We're used to crawling through crawl spaces, going through attics. So we're used to hard work. So in general, we tend to be more conservative guys. We don't like redistribution of wealth. This is how I feel. I don't, I don't turn myself as a Republican. I turn myself as a conservative. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think. We have several ways to comment on these blogs. You can comment on the website right below. After this live stream is done, you'll be able to comment beneath here on the website comments, which will be great. Um, if you're not signed up for the website, please do. We're giving away the Milwaukee M12 scope at the end of the month. So you'll be able to win that either by subscribing to the blog, which is on the top up there on the main page. And you can also sign up for the forum so you can participate in the forum. And I would appreciate either one of those things as supporting the website. We also have the HVAC library if this is the first time you're coming here. You know, I write Trump on a blog, and there's probably going to be like 300 people watching this thing just because it says Trump on it. But really, it's a means of a discussion. Our guys in the field, we need to be aware of what's going on. I, I try to stay out of politics for the most part, but 
every now and then you have to get involved with it because it's going to end up changing how our field develops over the next few years. Let's take refrigerants. How will Donald Trump be different than Hillary Clinton as far as dealing with the EPA, the phase out of refrigerants? Will that slow down because there's a Republican in the House? Will he try to undo some of that? Now, the EPA is not – it's not like Congress. We don't elect them. They're just put into place and they make rules. So we actually have less control over them than most of the other government entities. So it'll be interesting if that's affected at all. It may not be affected at all. Hell, it might be the opposite. You never know. How much control does one man have? Now, Republicans control the entire government. So the policies, if you're going to make a policy and implement a policy or do away with things like Obamacare, it'd be right now. In these first four years, because you have the entire government at your fingertips, if you're a Republican, if you're a Democrat, you're probably not having a good day. And I do feel bad for you. I don't. I'm not someone who feels like Republicans are right on everything and Democrats are wrong. I think Democrats are right on a lot of things and have the right ideas. I disagree with some of the ways they want to achieve their goals because I think our goals are the same. You know, take care of the country, keep people out of poverty, put people to work. But we get sidetracked on things like social issues, and social issues kind of cloud everybody's judgment. You know, people talk about abortion in every uh, election cycle, but not much has changed in abortion since Roe versus Wade. But we always use that as a distraction, so people aren't talking about the issues that we can change right now. It's just my opinion. I want to know what you you guys think. Leave a comment below. You can comment on the YouTube live chat. If you want to click on the video and go to YouTube and watch it, there's a live chat there. It's uh, kind of empty right now because this is the first one. So that's all I'm going to do for today. I just want to get this started. I'll probably do these either daily or semi-daily. And I hope you guys tune in to watch, and I will see you on the next one.